Good morning. Happy No Time Monday. I don't know. HackFS is about to start, and I wanted to make sure you have a good DAP template using Scaffold Eats so you can just get started building a product uh, on Ethereum and IPFS. So, uh, why IPFS? Well, Ethereum is awesome, and we can build all sorts of cool decentralized applications, but your decentralization is only as strong as your weakest link. And so if you're storing files on a server and that server gets attacked, then your whole decentralized app goes down. So IPFS is very helpful for storing things on a distributed network. Uh, let's just get started. Let's speed run through this thing. So uh, what you'll do is you will clone down scaffold ETH and you will jump over uh, to the uh, IPFS-example branch, okay? And that's going to take a bit to install, so we'll get it started. Okay, IPFS, the, the, uh, the API for IPFS is very, very simple. Basically, you, you bring it in, uh, you're gonna need to attach to a penning server. Uh, we're gonna use Infura here. It's pretty easy to bring up your own also. Uh, but let's uh, look at that API. So basically the code is you, you bring in uh, the IPFS client, you attach it to Infura, and then if you need to get a file, you say get, and you wanna add a file, you say add. Uh, basically, IPFS tracks files using content addressing, or it's content addressable. So when you upload, say, uh, a picture of yourself, it's basically a hash of that, a fingerprint of that is the address to that object. So if any little thing about the file changes, that address will change also. And if two of us try to upload the same file, we're both gonna get the same hash back, but that's great because now both of us are serving that content content and anybody who wants to get it uh, has has more access to it. Awesome. Did we finish installing? We did. All right. Yarn start and it's going to bring up our app. Then here we go. Here we go. Let's see. Close that out. Bring this up over here. Local host 3000. It's going to take it a second to run. We're going to need to bring up another console and you'll do yarn run chain. That brings up Biddler and then we'll do yarn run deploy and that's going to deploy our contract to Biddler and take the artifacts and inject them into our front end and we'll be ready to build an app still waiting for the development server to come up but there we go our contract the attester gets deployed let's go look at the file system real quick uh where am i here we go okay so in the file system, you're going to notice uh, three main packages. And that is, let's see, right here, right here, right here. You've got Biddler and you've got React App. Those are your two important uh, folders. In Biddler, you've got contracts, and that's where your attester lives. So we're going to have a contract where we can put something on IPFS and then attest to it on Ethereum. And then in your React app, you've got your app.js, and this is your front end. This is basically the whole thing right here to uh, put files on IPFS, and let's jump into that playground and play around. Okay, loading up, loading up. Okay, so here we go. This is the whole app. You've got, uh, you can put in a bunch of data here. So if I just put in hello world, and I upload that to IPFS. Like I said earlier, someone else has probably uploaded the string hello world before. This can be data, this can be anything. Uh, I'm gonna push it up to IPFS, I'm gonna get a hash back, and then when I'm ready, oh, let's give this guy some money from the faucet. This is a burner address, you can connect a, meta, a MetaMask, we'll do that in a second, but, and then I can attest to that on chain, and there we go, uh, C198 attests to hello world. So what all just happened there? Uh, we uploaded to IPFS, IPFS returned us back the hash, and we could go to, let's see, is it IPFS.io slash IPFS? And then you give it whatever your hash is, and there we go, there's hello world. Okay, so let's do, let's, let's do, okay, so then we went to, we went to IPFS, we uploaded it, it gave us the hash back, and then we took the hash and we put it into this smart contract right here, an attester that takes in our hash, and basically stores it for us and also uh, emits an event. Cool, that's that's it, that's it. We got IPFS, we got Ethereum, it's working. You can grab it, clone it, run with it. Please check it out and fork it. I'm gonna dive in a little bit more and play around with a little bit more of the subtlety. So let's look at, uh, let's, okay, let's do some, some original content. Uh, OC from ATG. This could, this could be really long to you. I, I really should like have some 
a bunch of data here. Whatever, whatever. I'm just going with it. It'll be short and sweet. It'll be easy to upload. Uh, oh, one, one thing that you can do, instead of uploading a big file, you can basically just get the hash back at first. So I could take this hash, since we know the content is already going to be addressed at that, while it's uploading, I could take that hash and be working with it. Little little nice, nice little UX thing you can do there. Okay, and then if we want to, let's use my MetaMask here. So make sure your MetaMask is on your local network right now. And we'll connect to it and we'll send it some money from the local faucet. Okay, now if I want to attest to this, all right, pops me up a dialogue all the way over to the left, I hit confirm, and there we go. So uh, austingriffith.eth just wrote to our local contract on our local chain that he attests to OC from ATG. Mm, cool, cool, I don't know. All right, so you've got, uh, here's where you bring in IPFS, Here's where you connect to Infura. Uh, there's a couple helper functions to add to IPFS and to get from IPFS. Uh, big thanks to Adam Fuller for helping me out with a lot of this stuff. We're building this thing called Nifty Inc. that we'll release in a week or two that basically uses this template and builds kind of a, a full product uh, around it. Uh, let's see, what else, what else, what else? Oh, uh, if you want to kind of next steps, kind of jumping into this thing, you can uncomment this little contract here and that's going to give you a contract object down here. And so then if you were to go back over to your attester and add some string public purpose and it's being rad exclamation point, right? And if we save that and we yarn run deploy over here, that's gonna compile and ship our contract to our testnet. And then we will be able to, this is going to hot reload over here. This address right here is going to change. But what happens here is this contract object parses your ABI. And look at that. It finds that our purpose is being rad. You know I'm being rad. It's Monday. I'm not wearing a bow tie. I don't know what's going on. HackFS is about to start. Uh, there is a Telegram channel in this article somewhere. Uh, jump in, ask questions, hit me up. I'm at Austin Griffith on Twitter and Telegram. Happy Monday!